ClinTouch is a smartphone platform. The front end is the smartphone app. We developed it in Android. It's now available in iOS. And what the app does is it makes your smartphone beep at a semi-random interval two, three, four times a day. And then you use a touchscreen slider to answer standard questions on your mental health, particularly individual symptoms that may be troubling you. The answers to those questions get uploaded in real time to a central server and pretty quickly you build up a detailed high resolution readout of how your symptoms fluctuate during the day, one day after another, week by week. And what we've shown is that simply by knowing that, getting a summary of those data, people can learn to manage their own symptoms to some extent. We developed the app alongside people who had suffered serious mental illness at every stage. They had an input into the functionality of the app, into the user experience. There was different parts of the application that were really important. One of the main functions of that was the grading of how people felt and we thought it would be useful to have different grades of smiley faces from sad to happy. I also felt it was important to have a diary function so people could actually type in and describe how they're feeling on different days. I was just reflecting back on how I sometimes managed my mental health. I find it quite useful to actually write things down and then if I'm having a good day, I can reflect back on what kind of things helped me that day. A lot of the information and data that was captured on the app were the different types of mood and questions that the person wanted to answer. We felt it was important for it to be quite personalised as well. So the person could actually upload a photograph of um, their favourite football team, their pet, and it would make the actual application a bit more personalised. Traditionally, when you ask someone about their symptoms in a clinical interview, you're asking about how severe they are and how long those symptoms have lasted, so severity and duration. With ClinTouch, with what we call active symptom monitoring, we can pick up much more than that, so we can pick up very short-term fluctuations. It's not low mood that predicts the emergence of suicidal ideation, but the emergence of suddenly fluctuating mood. And that sort of finding just couldn't be revealed with the more standard approaches to assessing people with mental health symptoms. The data on the phone is really quite useful in that the patient is constantly answering certain questions and it's building up a body of data for the care coordinator and community mental health team to keep. So in addition to the actual face-to-face -face contact that the patient has with the care coordinator and psychiatrist, the team have a more in-depth patient record of all the different mood changes and feelings of that person. So it's building up more of a, a rich data for the patient and the actual health professional to look at together.